Hi everyone. How is it going? How can I use Ibis Paint X? I created this video for answering that question. I hope you will understand how to use it. There are some ways to mastering digital drawing tools. You may have frustrated digital because you didn't understand them. However, watching this video may help you to some extent. If you are not, you know how to use these tools makes a big difference. Like me. Now then, let me show you the tutorial video. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. This topic will explain how to paint with a bracket tool. Before painting with it, please make some new layers. This is because coloring is not done in one layer, but some parts are divided into multiple layers. By coloring in several layers, it becomes very easy to paint detailed coloring after that. It is also recommended to draw fine hair lines and wrinkles on a separate layer. For example, in this illustration, fine lines are drawn on the layer written as 11. Then, that layer is hidden and the fine lines disappear. If there are many lines when you paint with the bucket tool, those line drawings will not be properly painted. Therefore, it takes time and effort to repaint unpainted lines. In order not to take such time, you had better reduce fine lines as much as possible. For that reason, hide the layer and then show it later because it is very easy and can save time. After applying the color with the bucket tool, especially the tips of the hair are left unpainted. So please apply those areas carefully. After that, make the layer of the line drawing less transparent. Then, paint the unpainted part of the inside of the hair. If there is not so much lines here, painting is very easy. I will warn one thing here. If the lines are not connected properly, other parts will be also painted. If it was happened, please find out where the line was missing and add that missing line. After that, the bucket tool will work where you want it. After painting the hair, paint the skin color to another layer. At this time, the skin color is darker than usual. The reason for this is to make it easier to understand the unpainted lines after that. I will also paint all the white eyes. For the white part, create a new layer and paint on that layer. Please note, the top layer is displayed first. As you go to the lower layers, even if you paint the same part, it will not be displayed. Therefore, the white part of the eye must be above the skin. Layer is complicated. You may think so. However, you will use layers many times and get used to them. I think the best practice is to make many layers and understand where they are applied. Please do your best to practice while referring to this video too. I said that I will separate layers by color, but I don't want to separate all of them because of bothering. So I often put together layers that are not near colored. In this case, I used the same layer for the ribbon, mouth, white eyes, and uniform. 
It's difficult to color white teeth and blouse. Is that your case? Let's paint with a dark color at first. It's white anyway, so I don't have to paint anything. There will be some people who say so. However, if you don't paint the color, a background color will appear later or you will not be able to paint the shadow color. It's a mistake to say that you don't have to do anything just because it's white. Finally, repaint the part where the color was darkly painted. At that time, I will use clipping masks. Let me explain how to use a clipping mask. First, create a new layer and bring it on top of the colored layer. Then, tap the mark clipping written below. That clipped layer is done. By using clipping, the color doesn't extend outside the range of colors below it. Therefore, you can easily apply the appropriate color to the part where you have darkened the color. Thank you for watching this video. If this video is interesting, please give me like. Also, if you ask a question about the illustration in the comment section, it will be answered as possible as. Depending on the content, I may post new videos for answering your doubts and the comments. So please subscribe to AnimeMember and set notifications for this. There are many people who watch the videos and don't register. So I will be very happy if you help me to grow. See you again in the next video.